Hi and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you this quick and easy holiday card using the Curvy Christmas stamp set and the Coordinating Classic Christmas 6x6 designer series paper that's available while supplies last during this special promotion. I think you're really going to enjoy this stamp set and it coordinates with our curvy dies that are also available in our 2021 January June mini catalog. So let me set this aside and I'll show you how to get started. I'm going to start with my two pieces of Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to line up the top edge on these and put them down on my cutting plate. Once I have that done, I'm going to take the die. I'm looking for this cutting edge here, and so I'm looking at the left-hand side. I'm going to lay that at the top, and I'm going to set that down. And then I'm going to bring in my top cutting plate and lay that on top. Once I've got that done, I'm going to roll it through my machine. and I'll have this beautifully cut edge. There we go. I'm going to remove the cardstock here and keep the small piece. And I'm going to bring this die in with the lace on the bottom. The cutting blade is here on the top and so that's where I want it to be. I am going to lay the right hand side here against the edge of the cardstock this time instead of the left and I'm going to then set the cutting plate on the top and roll it through. Now that I have my top and bottom edge cut I'm ready to start stamping. Before you start stamping you'll want to make sure the orientation of the top is in the right direction. I'm inking this up in the cherry cobbler and I'm bringing it right down along that bottom edge. One, two, three, and up. And then I'm going to bring in this mistletoe image and place it first in the center, then one off to the right, and finally one to the left. And that's my stamping for this front panel. I'm going to bring in a piece of cherry cobbler here in my Versamark and I'm going to ink up my little bow and stamp it onto the cherry cobbler cardstock. Once I've got that done, I'm going to add some clear embossing powder on the top, making sure to knock off the excess. And then I'm ready to heat set. I'm ready to start building my card front, so I'm going to bring in the larger Whisper White panel along with my panel of designer series paper. I'm going to add some adhesive onto the back and adhere this at the very bottom of the panel, lining it up with the edge. Once I have that done, I can bring in my card front and fold it on the score line and run my bone folder over it and then I can add this panel to the card front. There we go. Now that I've got that on my card front, I'm going to bring in my fussy cut bow that I heat embossed and then cut out with my paper snips and the panel that I stamped. I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to place a dimensional in each corner. And one in the center just to make sure it stays popped up. I'm going to remove the protective coverings from these dimensionals. And then I'm going to adhere this to my card front. I'm going to drop this down just about a quarter of an inch on both sides and lay it in place. The dimensionals will give some shadow to this and give it a nice feel. And then of course I'm ready to add that beautiful glossy bow. I chose to heat emboss this because it really makes the bow pop. And I am simply going to add that to the top here. And now for the last little bit. I'm going to bring in our Holiday Rhinestones, Basic Gems, and my Take Your Pick tool. 
and I'm going to pick up some of these cherry cobbler rhinestones and scatter them onto my card front. I'm just adding a few randomly and of course it's always good to add in odd numbers so I am going to add a let's see a large one down here also. There you go a beautiful holiday card using the curvy Christmas stamp set and the coordinating designer series paper. These products are a special promotion and only available while supplies last. And of course, if you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Jenny. Thanks for joining me.